two hours long. Hey guys, this is Blaine Sage. Uh, today we're working on a painting. This is a start of, sort of the start of a new art series, I guess, on this channel. Um, I'm a portrait artist, so I mainly uh, like to work the faces, stuff like that, the human figure. Um, I'm an oil painter. Uh, I got into it roughly about two years ago. So what we're doing today, we are going to do a portrait of my brother, Luke Sage, the other part of the band. So we'll jump right into it here in a second. I'll show you guys my palette, everything that I need to get going. And I've never worked on a square canvas before, so this will be interesting. I usually work on rectangular canvases, but uh, we'll get right into it. All right, now that we've got our palette set up, I'm gonna run you through what the colors are. And this is based off of the Zorn palette. So it is, I believe, let me see. Yeah, I can't really read it on this tube anymore. It's kind of uh, covered, but it says ivory black on there. So ivory black, we got cadmium red for the red, uh, yellow ochre, and then, I believe, titanium white. So, it's a limited palette of just four colors. And uh, the ivory black kind of acts as your blue. There's no blue in this color palette, but the ivory black has some kind of blue undertones to it. So it brings out sort of a blue color in the paintings. And uh, I've been working for this pa with this palette and basically all of my oil portraits. Um, and it's just very simple to me. The first first painting that I tried to do with uh, oil paints, I just had all my paints lined up and I was mixing them all together. And this kind of just stripped things down and made it a whole lot easier on me. So if you're having trouble, I recommend trying a limited palette to start with. All right, so we kind of moved locations for the, uh, I moved my easel. I was going to do it out in the middle of the shop, but now I've decided it's easier right here because we got the workbench, but I can set everything on them. Now I just have to figure out where I'm going to put you all for the time lapse so you can kind of see what's going on. But first I figure I'd walk you all through what I do first uh, when, right before I paint. Um, I may have to find a different spot to put you, but I'm not real sure. So I'll get back to you on that. All right, I think we're just gonna go for it. Um, I'll hold up everything so y'all can see. Let's see, yeah, we're good on paint thinner. Uh, need to find my brushes. And it's important. Have a painting by your paintbrushes. All the way to the bottom of this. Okay. This one's not good. You need to take care of your brushes or they will end up uh, unusable, basically. Sometimes I neglect that part of the process. It's my least favorite part, but it's a very important part. I'm looking for a specific one. Can't seem to find it though. See, this one will work all right. Okay, so the first thing I do, I'm starting a new painting. I take my black and I take a little bit of paint thinner and I thin out just a little bit of the black right there. I usually work with like a, a regular palette, not just wood. I work on a uh, sort of a wax paper surface. So once I get that, I go in, just kind of cover the whole, whole canvas. 
with this thinned out thinned out black paint. That is step one. Ideally, I'd be using a slightly bigger brush for this. But can't find it, so I just want to work. If you just keep doing this, then you got the whole thing covered. Doesn't really matter how it looks at this point. This just, for me, it kind of uh, makes it less scary. Uh, I know a lot of people, they look at a blank canvas and they're like, wow, how am I going to cover all of that? So, if you just start by covering the whole thing, you don't have to worry about, oh god, how am I going to cover that? That's going to take forever, when it really takes five minutes to cover the whole thing, and it's out of your mind. Canvas has paint on it already. So, that kind of dispels my fear of having it uncovered. So, that part's done. Part two is kind of my favorite part of the beginning process. I picked this up from, well, I picked this whole thing up, uh, the YouTuber that inspired me to use the Zorn palette and do this whole process. His name's Slu. Great, great channel. Great painter. I'll link him in the description. Makes some great stuff. You can go check out his channel. Uh, but he inspired me to use oil paint for my portraits, and it's really helped a lot. So, next step is getting your reference picture. I got one here on my phone of my brother. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen for you all to see. Um, so, next thing you do is you take your reference picture and you block out the form. We're doing a head, basically, is just from the shoulders up. So, you block that out. Just all you gotta do is wipe away where it's gonna go. And it's kinda just playing around with where the, uh, where the form's gonna go. So, you just gotta kinda find it somewhere in the canvas. You just wipe it away with a paper towel. Uh, it's real simple. It, it, is, it doesn't have to be perfect right now. I mean, you just get kind of a rough, a rough, uh, outline of where it's going to go, mainly just for the light and to clean up the area that you're actually going to put paint on. I, I mean, I know a lot of people, they really stress doing the background before you do anything. There are some paintings that I have done that have no background at all except this gray wash because my main focus is the human figure. So I don't, I don't see the need for, I mean, there's definitely a place for uh, backgrounds. Just for me, I see the figure as a more important aspect to capture. Thank you, about. Well, see, it's a little bit off the, the that line, but that's okay because we're going to paint over on this thing, right? So, I guess we'll just get started on the painting part. Alright, so in this part, uh, I started laying in the facial structure. Then I started focusing on the nose, and then the eye there, I had to change it a little bit um, to make it the way I like it. But it ended up coming coming out pretty good. There, I put some highlights in. And then I moved on to the lips. Uh, I ended up being pretty happy with those. Got his mustache in. And then I decided that's where I used the blue and the bandana. And then the ear there, I don't know if you saw, but I had to move it up. And then it finally ended up coming together somehow. But I ended up being pretty pleased with it. 
Whew, this is gonna be a long, long video. It really wasn't that long of a video. I don't know why I said that. But, we're finally finished. Bring it on out for y'all to see. There it is. That's the painting. It is 100%, well, I mean, it's done. That's what it looks like. That is Luke Sage right there. This painting took about, I don't know, it took, I don't know, around two hours to do. So, not bad for two hours. There's a few things that I'm not happy with, like uh, the nose, the eye, I don't know, but overall, hey, two hours, pretty pleased with that. I didn't do any details on the bandana or anything. Just went simple for that. And I did lie, um, did end up using blue for uh, for this one, but it was just on the bandana. So everything else, Zorn palette, all the way through, four colors. So this whole painting took five, because I had to do the bandana. I wanted it to be blue, so. Um, Simple background, didn't even bother doing a background because the face is the important part for me. So, uh, oh, here's a train coming. The train's still going by, but thank you all for watching. Uh, there'll be more videos like this. Let us know if you like this kind of video, if you like the new content. Um, be on the lookout. We're going to try to get one a week out. I know, I think I said in one video that we're going to try to do two a week, but to start out, we're going to try to do one a week start in July. Uh, by the time this is posted, it's probably past July, but I'm recording this in June. Uh, but yeah, if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and like the video and share it with all your friends. Uh, and hit the uh, notification bell because that, that'll really help us out. We're kind of new to this YouTube thing. Well, not new to it. We've been posting on here for a while, but not consistently. We really want to make something happen. We want to bring different content, so be on the lookout for uh, some different content. But this is one of many art videos that I'm going to make on here. Uh, so, if you like what you see, you want to have any suggestions, have any uh, concerns, tell me what you like about this painting, tell me what you hate about it, tell me what you like about the video, tell us what you hate about it. Uh, and we will get back to you on on your comments but uh, thanks for watching like I said and see you next time